So I have a couple Helion rigs here. This is the Helion Conquest 10SC. Although this is the OEM version, which would be the HSP Grampus. Grampus, like a grandpa's truck. I never put the sticker on. But as you can see, it's got different body. HSP racing. The wheels and tires are the same. Um, I think the tread pattern might be different a little bit. The wheels are the same. The chassis is the exact same. And um, the brushless system is the same. The servos are different, I believe. This model, HSP Grampus and uh, Conquest 10 MT share everything besides the body and servo, I believe. Um, this would normally come with a Hobby Wing system, a Hobby Wing 3300 KV. 3652 motor and a 10 BL 50 ESC. Now I'm running a Tamiya setup. I've got a the TB LE 02S with the TFU 01 fan unit. That this fan unit allows me to run 3S and it allows me to run 2S. On 2S it would thermal shut down after 5 10 minutes. On um, 3S, it wouldn't even barely last a minute or so. With this fan, I am allowed to run 2S and 3S without overheating this Tamiya ESC. I'm running the Sensor 13.5 motor and this ESC. Um, but originally, this comes with the same system you would get if you bought the Helion version. And. I wanted to show you the difference between these chassis because before I purchased this I was under the assumption that all the Helion Conquest stuff came on this same buggy style chassis it's a um, low center of gravity two-wheel drive chassis similar to the kind of shape that Traxxas uses on their two-wheel drive low center of gravity slash lineup very similar it's got a long nose here wide in the back and so I didn't look into this because I know this isn't raw standard wheelbase it's only um, I think around 11 and a half or so don't quote me on that I'm not sure and I think this this one is 13 12 9 something so 13 but I didn't know that so I never looked at this I always thought that the conquest lineup was a bunch of cars all on the exact same chassis um, a monster truck, a stadium truck, a buggy, and a short course truck. But I was wrong. Because this one comes on a different chassis. Um, it's longer, it's wider. They call this one the wide LCG chassis. And it's longer as well. So as you can see, it's wider and it's longer put them together you will see this is about oh roughly uh, two inches longer give or take a little bit the suspension on this one was really 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 um, good from the factory I had no problems with this one from the factory whatsoever felt good felt good um, this one needed adjustments I had to change the springs and change the shock fluid it was sagging like this and it wouldn't really rebound it was always down sagging like that it was sagging its pants from the factory but no big deal so when I realized that this was actually on a true short chassis I had to go for it um, and this was $99 of course at the time you can get these OEMs for $150 but now the Helion um, brushless Conquest lineups are also 150. But when I got this for 150 a, a year or two ago, it was a great deal, especially with the Hobby Wing setup. But this brush for 100 dollars was great. Now they share um, transmissions, 
and they share A arms and they share shock towers and shocks. Although the shocks are tuned differently for um, this short course setup than they were for a monster truck setup. The difference being is this one has longer axles with hex extensions. The hexes are about quarter inch longer or so. As you can see this one has shorter axles and normal size hexes in there. It's kind of dirty guys. Been running. And once again this one longer axles longer hexes for a wider stance. And um, we'll get to We'll get a wheelbase comparison here. This is about the same, same as the Avenge, the Conquest MT. This is basically a buggy chassis. And this is the short course version. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys the differences. This one's pretty cool. It comes with the wheelie bar though. But I can put the wheelie bar on this one if I needed to. Um, it might need it the way I drive, but I really like this. So maybe I'll, I was thinking of putting like some wheels here so I can keep my SCT bumper and then maybe mounting some wheels here somewhere on the bumper. So when it gets up like that, it could really. So mounted some wheels somehow here and here. Or I can always just put this motor guard that has a wheelie bar on it. Like this one. I can always use this setup, but I do like my SCT bumper. Quick view of the differences between the Conquest chassis lineup. So the stadium truck, the monster truck, the buggy, they come on this. They come on that chassis. But the SCT comes on this chassis. And I'm pretty sure HSP is the OEM for this one as well. Um, because it shares so many of the exact same parts. So part support you'll be able to find from HSP on places like eBay and things like that. They also do make um, aluminum upgrades. They have bulkhead shock towers um, and a few other things. I know they also make a few RPM parts. I know that I think they have uprights. Um, and they have, I think T-Bone makes bumpers for these as well. I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure they do. And they do also make aluminum uprights and aluminum C-hubs. Adjustable turnbuckles, of course, things like that. So if you buy one of these and Helion stops making parts or they stop selling parts because they don't actually make the parts if I should say if you buy one of these and in a few years Hobby Town stops carrying a certain part you can probably find it through HSP on eBay or one of those type of websites now I talked to the guys at Hobby Town they said they're going to continue to support the the Helion brand for the next year or two and after that they're only going to make small orders for certain parts like the most popular parts that I like what they do now for their other discontinued items like the Dominus and Invictus you can still get some parts from Hobby Town but you you'll be able to find the Conquest lineup parts as HSP so in a few years, if you need to find parts and Hobby Town doesn't carry them anymore, you'll still be able to find the parts from HSP because they are the OEM on these rigs. All right, guys, I just wanted to show you that real quick. And um, I'm going to get out and run both of these today. So stay tuned for a video on that in the next few days. All right, peace. Forgot the transmitters are the same from the OEM version to the Helion version. They're just rebranded. They're exactly the same thing. The receivers are the same as well. They just don't have the iconic branded on them. They're blue 
Um, but the features are the same, the protocols are the same, everything's the same on these <clears throat> two. I just wanted to show you guys that real quick. I forgot to show you that just branded with different names and different colors. All right, guys. Peace.